reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, he for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading for this Sunday comes from the letter to the Hebrews. We have been reflecting on faithful love. And in the first reading from Genesis, we see how in God's plan, man and woman were created fully as human beings with equal dignity, and they are meant to live in partnership, in a love that is faithful. Okay, now in the second reading, we find the basis of what we later will call the sacrament of marriage. Jesus is presented to us by the second reading as the Son of God, but who became low, willingly and lovingly, lowered himself, lower than the angels. He became human like us and experienced suffering and death for our sake. For our sake. So we have Jesus depicted as uh, the Son of God who is willing to go below the dignity of the Son of God, uniting himself with mere human beings, lowly human beings, and even suffered for our sake, love. And this love, this love had a purpose. He wanted to be one of us so that he could be perfect first perfected in obedience to the Father, and secondly, perfected in compassion. According to the letter to the Hebrews, Jesus came to us not as a harsh judge, but as a compassionate brother. And his suffering, especially his being subjected to temptations, but never sinning, being subjected to all the trials that we mortals experience on a daily basis, this suffering made him understand us, the human condition, and intensified his being a savior. So the one who saves us is a brother who understands what it means to be subjected to sufferings and travail. This is the fidelity and the love of Jesus shown to us. Later on, later on, or maybe even earlier, in the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, he will say that husbands should love their wives the way Jesus loved the church. And Jesus loved the church by his willingness to die for the church. This is the same message in the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus was perfected in love by his capacity to suffer and die for his brothers and sisters, the church. So dear husbands out there, are you willing to die for your wives the way Jesus suffered and died for the church? And wives, like the church, are you willing also to offer yourself freely in love the way the church loves Jesus Christ? So faithful love, wow, leads to 